Mark Antony is pathetic. And that might seem harsh. Mark Antony was Caesar's second in command. He was the ruler of the eastern half of the Roman Empire. He had a devoted wife who cared for all his children, including those from a previous marriage. Yet, despite all these excellent attributes in his life, Mark Antony is still pathetic. And the reason for that is that he allowed a bad influence to take over his life. Even though he displayed great virtues and earned the respect of so many of his peers, he succumbed to a charismatic personality that made him betray everything he had built for himself. Now, what was this bad influence? Or better yet, who? It was Cleopatra. If you don't know, Cleopatra and Mark Antony were engaged in a crazy love affair. And although it seemed romantic on the surface, it's actually a forewarning tale. Mark Antony turned his back on his family, soldiers, and even Rome, all because he was enamored with Cleopatra. And if you don't believe me, take this in. Mark Antony, one of the most distinguished land generals of his time, decided to stake his empire on a sea battle, all because Cleopatra wanted one. He had limited experience with naval warfare, and risking such a battle would put the lives of so many at stake, including his own. Yet, he wanted to impress Cleopatra. And that's not even the sad part. In the middle of that deciding sea battle, which would determine who would be the sole ruler of Rome, Cleopatra, whose ships were fighting alongside Mark Antony's, decides to leave. So she takes her ship and sails off. Mark Antony sees this, and he decides to be with her instead of fighting. So he leaves his naval forces in the middle of the fight. Long story short, Mark Antony lost everything, including Cleopatra. Now, I don't want to blame Cleopatra for Mark Antony's shortcomings, since he should have been more mindful of her influence over him. And the reason why I'm telling you guys this story is that so you can become aware of any harmful influences in your life. Sometimes it can be hard to say who is a bad influence, and that's where self-reflection comes in. Knowing that we're making poor choices when we're around some people might be a sign of reducing our interactions with those said people. We can't live our lives on autopilot. We must be conscious of it to create the best possible lives. And it's crazy to think that people in our lives can have such a strong influence over us, so we must be careful of who we bring into it. Keep in mind, Mark Antony had everything he could have ever dreamed of, and it all vanished because he was unaware of who had an influence over him. This story has happened countless times, and I just want to make sure that the same doesn't happen to you. Alright, so that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to like this video, comment, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my newsletter, and guys, remember, you're not just any type of nerd, you're a charismatic nerd.